Hi, this is James of Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today we're going to take a special look at Terraforming Mars Prelude. Terraforming Mars Prelude is an expansion for Terraforming Mars, which is a one to five player game published by Stronghold Games and created by Frix Games. Jacob Frixelius is the designer, and in Terraforming Mars, you're trying to terraform Mars. You are trying to make Mars habitable by raising all three of your environmental um, uh, markers. So like raising the oxygen level up to a certain point, raising the temperature up to a certain point and placing oceans on Mars. Once that has been completed and Mars is habitable, the person with the most points wins. This expansion gives a little boost to starting the game because throughout the game, you're going to be using cards and building your own little tableau and potentially, hopefully an engine to do different things. Well, this game will let you start out with some production where in the base game, you don't have any production. You have to slowly gain that production through the game. You can get that with these prelude cards or you can raise your terraforming rating a little bit at the beginning of the game or it lets you place out some oceans, raising your terraforming level a little bit, or it lets you raise the temperature a couple things, or it gives you more money at the start of the game. Really cool, lots of like decisions and different things that you can get at the beginning of the game. Let's go ahead down to the table. I'll give you an idea what comes with this and what it does, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is all you get with the Prelude uh, Terraforming Mars expansion. Now the Prelude Terraforming Mars expansion, some standard stuff they come with. Here's a new solo card that you can use. Uh, but you will also get uh, these five new corporations. This Victor Corporation starts you with 45 mega crits and you start um, your first action uh, fund and an award for free. So that's really cool. Also here, uh, whenever you play a non-negative VP icon, including this one, gain three ME. So that is cool. Uh, here is Valley Trust. You start with 37 uh, mega credits. And as your first uh, action, draw three prelude cards and play one of them and discard the other two. And here you're gonna have negative two uh, money mega credits for each science tag card that you play. Here you're going to have the uh, Shang Xing Mars, I think it would say, 44 meta credits you're going to start with, and you're going to start with a three mega credit production, which is really good. And over here, uh, you're going to, for each of the, um, I think the housing tags are called, or building tags, uh, they're going to cost you two mega credits each when you play those cards. Uh, here is going to be the Robinson Industries. Robinson Industries starts you with 47 mega credits. And here uh, you can spend four mega credits to increase one of your lowest productions, one. And you would tap this card just like you would or I guess turn the card, you can't say tap, turn the card, just like you would any of the others um, to perform that action on your turn as one of your two actions. This one here is gonna be Point Luna. It's gonna give you 38 mega credits and give you a titanium production. And uh, whenever you play an earth tag, including this one, you get to draw a card, which is amazing. So these are really, really great corporations. You're also gonna get some new cards to mix into the base game here, like Space Hotels, uh, SF Morial, uh, resource coordinator, which this one has a wild tag. And wild tags are pretty interesting because wild tags we're going to count as any tag when you need it for scoring and such. So those are really cool. Uh, this one here has the microbe tag and it's going to be, oh, I don't know how to say that one. And we have Mar uh, Martian uh, survey and we're going to have lava tube settlement and we're going to have house reprinting. So these are going to be the basic cards that you're going to mix in. Uh, what I like about this is there's nothing really specific about these that matter whether they're drawn or not um, they're nice so you don't have to wait for them and they get diluted in the deck or anything but the big part of this is going to be this massive deck of prelude cards that you're going to get with the game and to start the game you're going to shuffle this up and you're going to deal four of these cards out and a player is going to pick two of these to use now these will have tags on them so this one has a science tag and then it's going to have a starting bonus that you get so it sort of ju jump starts the game so at the start of the game i'm going to get one um, plant production and i'm going to draw three cards 
Uh, this one here, biofuels, is going to give me a plant and an energy production and give me two plants to start the game. This one's going to let me put down an ocean, uh, which is going to be one of the prerequisites for ending the game. And I get all the uh, the victory point and or the um, terraforming rating and everything for that. And I get two energy production and negative three money to start the game. Here I get four money production and uh, and then I get uh, three mega credits. Here I get to place a city and I get a um, plant production. There's a ton in here. So here I just get a 21 mega credits for this card. Uh, plant and two mega credit production. Six mega credits, but I lose six money. So there are all sorts of ones in here. Get to place two uh, oceans. Uh, two titanium production, negative five money though. Uh, I get uh, to uh, place down a uh, forest, but then, and then I get to draw till I get two with green tags. That's cool. Uh, there's Stephen Bonacore on this one here for eccentric sponsor. Uh, play a card from hand, reducing its cost by 25 ame. Emmy, amazing. So there is a lot of really cool stuff here. Uh, raise the uh, temperature here uh, to jumpstart your game. So not only does it jumpstart your game, but it jumpstarts your engine too. Like here, I'm going to go up three terraforming ratings because I'm going to raise the energy three times. Um, here, I just get a straight up terraforming rating, uh, plant production, and five money. Uh, so much in here. There's so many different cards. Uh, here I get uh, tit six titanium and two cards with titanium tags. Um, three terraforming rating and a draw card. Just so many cool cards in this game. So again, you're just going to go through and shuffle this prelude deck up. You're going to deal out four to every player. And then those players are going to pick two of those to use at the start of the game. They're going to be, uh, before the game starts, they're all going to be played, and you're all going to get your bonuses, and that'll give everyone a jump start into the game and actually reduce the time frame that the game takes. So let's go ahead back up to the table here, and I'll give you my final thoughts on Terraforming Mars Prelude. All right, so Terraforming Mars Prelude. I was very surprised I haven't done a review on this yet, so I wanted to go back and do a review on this. I think Terraforming Mars Prelude is an essential expansion for Terraforming Mars. If you pick any expansion, and you only, especially if you only have one expansion that you want to put in the game, this is it. This here gives you the boost you need at the beginning of the game. It could take a long time when you start the game to get going, and this gives you a little nudge to get that started even faster. So it reduces the time of the game, where most of the expansions for Terraforming Mars increase the time for the game. It does come with a couple corporations, I think five or whatever I said, and that's really nice. Having extra corporations is awesome, adds a lot of like replayability to the game because you have different corporations every time, which is a little bit of asymmetric powers that you have in the game. But those prelude cards are phenomenal. You get four of them, you pick two, you get the boosts. You, will, you could start out with more money. You could get start out with getting more prelude cards to start with. You could start out with having a couple more cards in your hand. You could start out having a higher tire forming rating. You can start out with a little more, per, with some production in some of your areas. Amazing. I can't understand, and I can't understate, let's say, how good this expansion actually is. This is a very small expansion. I think it's the smallest one. I mean, the board uh, expansion where you just get a new board is physically larger. Um, so I guess it would be still smaller because it's just a board. Um, but this one here, just a couple cards, just a deck of prelude cards, couple corporations and a couple uh, cards to go in the main deck. And that's it. But it has a huge impact on the game and it has a huge positive impact on the game. Like I said, if you like Terraforming Mars, this is an essential expansion in my opinion. And that's my thoughts on Terraforming Mars Prelude. Thank you for watching.